Yum, yum! Hey guys, this is Jens Malkosh from Pixel Fondue, and today we're going to take a look at how to set up a mirror, a mirror in the 3D viewport. Uh, I'm not doing it in the shading um, aspect of it, I can just do that in, in over there, but I actually needed to see what the jumping between the two worlds uh, would behave like. And this is the setup, I've got the original over here, I've got the mirror kind of tilted on the x-axis, and you can see the reflections, uh, the reflections is also tilted. Um, and that's about it, so let's get started. To start that off, we have the mirror plane right here, and we have the original model. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to instance this model. Right-click, duplicate instance, and we're going to set it to negative 100 on the z-axis, and that will give us our reflection. Um, the next step is we're going to add a locator, and I'm going to call this locator uh, tilt locator. And the first thing we're going to do is grab the tilt locator and drop it inside of the plane. And then I'm going to drop the instance on top of the, the locator as well. So now I have a plane that's, uh, that's controlling both of those at the same time. And you can see that they can move it. Uh, the next step is on the z-axis. And in this case, I'm going to consider the model as my reference point um, and not the mirror. Uh, because I want to actually move the mirror around in the, in the structure that I have. The next step is to select the z-axis uh, position. Add that to my schematic. I'm going to go then and select my um, z-axis uh, translation as well for the model or the instance of the model and I'm going to hook those up. Once I do that what I should be able to do is grab the frame and now I have a working prototype of the mirror. Pretty simple, pretty good. Problem is I don't want to be able to do that. This thing needs to be stuck um, exactly where it is on the X versus um, where this thing is. So what I need to do is every time I move this in whatever amount on X, it needs to this thing needs to be moving um, the opposite amount. So if I set this to zero, I'm going to set this, open up the position, and I'm going to basically say multiply. So let's add this for now. X. So if I set this now, you see it does double translation. What I need to do is just make sure that that's negative. And we're going to set this to negative one. So now that doesn't do anything. Great. Uh, what about rotation? So this rotation's fine. It's working on the y direction just great. Um, obviously, this I'm not going to do, but you could also do the invert um, rotation so that it doesn't do that. However, this needs to function a bit better because it's supposed to be um, not only rotating, but rotating uh, double, uh, rotating this double as much, but from that point. And that's basically the job for the tilting locator. This needs to work. Um, so what I'm going to do is set this on X, add that over here. And I'm going to set this on X and add it over here. And again, if I grab this guy and put it here, let's just see the effect of that. That looks pretty good. So basically now, whenever I'm uh, tilting this guy, this thing is being uh, rotated just as much as this is in relevance to it. All right, that works. Next step is if this model uh, rotates, this does not. So what we need to do is also fix that. So we'll add this over here. This is the rotation, the Y rotation. And uh, I've already, because of the uh, the way I've scaled this and put it into all this stuff, um, it's already rotated 100 negative, 180 degrees negative. But we're gonna have to do that manually. So what we do is 
add another multiplier. Let's add another multiplier. Actually, I'm not going to care about that. So I'm going to change this one to add, and I'm going to say 180 degrees. I'm going to set that over here. So this should this should do the work for me. Throw that out. So now if I put this in there, it'll just give me exactly what that is, which is not what I want. But what I want to do is I want to multiply a negative value of that and set that over here. So that now if I rotate this, it rotates accordingly. And I now have a working prototype for the mirror. What I'm looking for is to move this to a specific point, tilt it a little bit. Now I have the mirror. And that's about it. I hope that was useful. Um, it's not something I commonly come up with um, when I'm working, but it's something that I had to deal with recently. And I thought would, uh, I would share that. Thanks. Yum, yum.